Chapter 4 Disrupt Fear If there's one key aspect of success that all game changers agree on, it is this. You must be fearless. That's not to say that innovators don't experience fear. Everyone does. But unlike most people, game changers refuse to allow this instinct to keep them from stepping into the unknown. Of course, the unknown is usually scary. Remember, your mind is a creature of habit, and it operates based on fear. It is always scanning your environment, looking for things to be afraid of, and it makes decisions for you in the interest of keeping you safe. But in reality, giving in to fear doesn't make you safe, and not taking risks makes you weaker, not stronger. Game changers know this. To borrow a phrase from the legendary self-help author Susan Jeffers, they feel the fear and do it anyway. They educate themselves, keep learning, take action, and stay curious. They create a sense of mission and develop habits that prevent their bodies from hijacking their creativity so they can spend their lives constantly innovating. This is how they end up changing the game for the rest of us. They also reject the comfort that comes with hiding behind rules and authority. There is no great mystery here. Authority figures are created to protect the status quo. Becoming an innovator requires that you think differently. Stagnation is the enemy of innovation. With apologies and sincere gratitude to all of my former teachers, innovation doesn't happen unless you're willing to break the rules that other people have written. It's as simple as that. Law 10. Fear is the mind killer. Failure is scary because as humans evolved, failure meant a tiger would eat you, you'd run out of food, your tribe would banish you, or you'd never find a mate, so you'd die, and so would your entire species. None of those are true today, but the biological fear of failure remains in the automated parts of your nervous system. Learn to face your irrational fear of criticism and failure and do big things anyway. When you learn to make your body less afraid of failure, it liberates enormous energy that you can use to do what you choose. Fear of failure causes failure. Don't give in to it. Hack it instead. Rave Mehta is a game-changing engineer, entrepreneur, and professor, as well as an award-winning pianist and composer. He is changing the way we educate kids through his company, Helios Entertainment, which creates games, music, and books that teach adults and kids to overcome fear while learning complex science, technology, engineering, and math STEM subjects. I asked him to join me on Bulletproof Radio to talk about fear. He told me a story about being on a safari in South Africa where he and a group of others observed a pride of lions from an open-air jeep. Suddenly, one of the lions walked right up to the vehicle and approached him. Rave was in the front seat, closest to the ground, and as the lion got closer and closer, he heard the ranger sitting by his side say quietly, Stop moving. Stop breathing. Pretend you don't exist. Rave could feel the lion's breath on his forearm. He was afraid that he was about to die, and he needed to keep himself from making a sound or moving an inch. He began to practice a breathing technique to calm down his parasympathetic nervous system and pull himself into the present moment. Even though he didn't quite believe it, he told himself that everything was going to be fine. And within moments, the lion turned around and walked away. At the time that happened, Rave had spent years studying, hacking, and chasing fear to find out how it worked. But that moment really put his knowledge and skills to the test. If he hadn't been able to tap into a place of trust and stay connected in the present moment, who knows what could have happened? Throughout his study of fear, Rave discovered that all negative emotions, anger, jealousy, insecurity, guilt, shame, and greed, are rooted in fear, while all positive emotions, confidence, grace, humility, courage, gratitude, are rooted in trust. When he broke it down into just those two fundamental states, fear and trust, it became easy for him to see how he could transform fear-based emotions into ones that are rooted in trust.